a class two static two non static and one method right now i want responses from you how many how many static variables to how many non static variables how many non static how many methods one method right one method two statics two non static one method what is this object creation statement what is this what is this object creation statement s1 s1 is what reference variable right reference variable, which stores the address of the object s1 dot display if i want to call this display for display method then this non static variables won't be created won't be initialized right understand that if i call that display method only control goes there and it will initialize that x to 10 y with 20 but if i keep this in comment s1 dot display and if i try to print this x and y values will it print no. error you will get non static variables not fit means without calling a method i want non static variables to get initialized then go for constructors so to overcome this, allocate values for non-static variable during object creation using constructors. Understood. Just what is the difference between a constructor and a normal method? Just see the difference between a constructor and a normal method. Later you can write, but first answer. method constructor is comparisons here fine method can have any name can have any name you can use any name to a method right display method show method compute method any method any name but constructor should always have underscore underscore init underscore underscore it init init constructor name should always be init only you cannot have any other name Next <clears throat> method, method if you see used to represent, used to represent business logic, used to represent. Then here constructor used to initialize non-static variable. Used to initialize non-static variable. Okay. You can write it later, but next method. How to call a method? How to how did you call a method previously? Display method, show method in a class. Huh? You have what methods? Sir? Compute show or how did you call S1 dot display S2 dot display means using object method is called using object and here constructor executed automatically 
constructor executed automatically. Whenever object is created, whenever object is created. Constructor executes automatically. Whenever an object created, constructor executes automatically. We no need to call a constructor. Constructor calling won't be in our hand. If you are defining an object, immediately constructor executes automatically. This thing you need to understand, right? But method compulsory we need to call using object. Example S1 dot display. For one object, method can be called, method can be called for multiple times. For one method, one object, method can be called for multiple times. Means S1 dot display, S1 dot display, S1 dot display, S1 dot display. For one object S1, method can be called for multiple times. S1 dot display, S1 dot display, I can call it. But here, for one object, constructor executes only once. For one object, for one object, constructor executes only once because only once we initialize. So const method can have any name. You can give any name for a method, but constructor always this name, right? It is used to implement some business logic, which one method, computing or something, but it is used to initialize non-static variable only, which one constructor. Method is called using object, but constructor without object, okay. Executed automatically when our object is created. For one object, method can be called for multiple times. For one object, constructor executed for only once. Now, see this what is a constructor, right? It's a special kind of method which is used to initialize the non static variables of a class. What is a constructor used to initialize non static variables of a class? At the time of creation of object only, whenever you are creating object only, non-static variables need to be created or initialized. Constructors are used to initialize non-static variables of a class during object creation only. Constructor is executed automatically whenever object is created. Executed automatically whenever object is created. But normal methods we need to call using object. For one object, constructor will be executed only once because only once we initialize. Constructor always should be defined by using this name. Just like the function only, def keyword, always this method name only. It's always method should have self. If you want to give some arguments also, you can do right. Just now I said all these four cases, right? Method can have any name, method should be having this. It's used to represent business logic, constructor can be used. Okay? Method can be executed whenever we make a method call. Make a note of this first. Understood?
Yes. Difference between methods and constructors. This is important. Methods you can specify Java. If you have got knowledge in Java, right? Constructor name will be just like class name. But here, not class name, in it only. In Java, constructor name should be class name. But here, you can specify any name, right? Methods, why we give? Methods means in the last class, we have discussed that right? deposit method, uh, what is that? Uh, withdraw method. Right, they are going to perform some logic, right? Withdrawing or depositing, they are performing some business logic, but constructor only for initializing non static variables only, right? Method will be executed whenever we make a method call using object. Method name can be any name. Finish writing all this. Yes. Now let us see one example on this constructor, right? Constructors are of two types, default constructor and parameterized constructor, right? Constructors are of two types, default and parameterized.
default default constructor and parameters a constructor without parameters a constructors with parameters what is constructor with parameters and without parameters right yes next we'll see like what is a constructor right now Observe here, everyone. What is this class? What is this? Constructor. Constructor always should have this name in it only. Now, other methods you can have any name display or computer show, but constructor always should have this name. It is used to initialize the x to 10, y to 20. Constructor used for initializing non static variables x and y, x to 10, y to 20 and display method just to printing the text by values this is my class how many non-static variables two how many method one method one constructor this is object creation statement what happens whenever object created means whenever object created immediately constructor gets executed automatically so whenever this statement if you are creating immediately this constructor gets executed. No need to call a constructor, but a method we need to call s1 dot display s1 dot display. A method we need to call right constructor. We no need to call that. If the statement is, it gives that initialize the x to ten, y to twenty. Can I say s1 dot x s1 dot y now? Valid or not? Even though I'm not calling this display method, I'm not calling a without calling the method non-static variables getting instead or not so using constructor a method can be called for multiple times but constructor you cannot call for the second time right? only one time executes but now this object created constructor executes and initialize the x to 10 y to 20 and prints that x y values here s1 dot display s1 dot display there were more object created one more object created means again constructor executes again this constructor executes automatically s2 dot x means what 10 s2 dot y is what 20 calling it right? display method display method means x and y values of things in this program as there are two objects so constructor executes for two times if there are n objects in the constructor will be executed for n times take this fast see constructor executed here constructor executed here Print S1 means orbit address it prints. Print S2 means orbit address it prints.
Understood everyone? Any query in this? Yes, sir. Sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Please, uh, I will. Please, I want you to explain that constructor once more. They're going slowly, right? Constructor alone, yes. I want you to explain one more time for me, please. Yes, make it fast, write fast. What you need to understand is whenever this object is creating, constructor executes automatically. That's thing you need to understand. We no need to call a constructor method s1 dot display s1 dot display will call, but constructor is also a method. But we no need to call object created immediately. It executes automatically, right? If two objects, so constructor executes two times. If five objects, five times it executes. It depends upon the number of objects. But normal method, you can call s1 dot display s1 dot display s1 dot display multiple times here. I called here, right? You can call for any number of times.
Yes, next one. More. See some more examples on this constructor for your understanding, right? See now. Now try to answer for this, everyone. I want responses from everyone. Say, so, uh, one second. Hmm. Modifying static and non-static variables. See one thing, static and non-static. Non-static means every object will have its own non-static. Employee one will have its non-static, its ID, its name, salary. But static variables common to all the objects, right? If I, okay, non-static variable, if I modify one, do you think non-static variables it is going to modify the employee to also no right so here modifying non static variables what is this constructor constructor so how many in this entire class right how many non static variables two two, two non static variables how many methods yes. one method one. So in method, we will be writing some business logic or some code, right? No, but the constructor used to initialize non-static variables. X value was 10. To the current X, I'm adding 30. To the current Y, I'm adding 40 and printing them, right? Now, this object created means what happens internally? Constructor is executed automatically. Executed automatically means it initializes the 10 end. 20 means here like previously until you call the method constructors the non-static variables not created not initialized previously until you call display method on any other method non-static variables not created but here object created immediately this non-static variables gets created or initialized right no need to call that method s1 dot x value 10 S1 at Y value 20. Now, if I call M1 method, first M1, M1 method I'm calling, what is the X value you see? 40. 40. Y value? 60. That's fine. Now, again, I'm calling M1 method, right? Now, what is the X value? Again, this M1 method is called. Again, the control goes here. And again, 30 will be added. What is the X value? 70. 70, right? Yes. Y equal to 100. Now, that's fine. For an object S1, these are the non static. Now, do you think this X equal to 70, Y equal to 100? Uh, for S2 also, the X and Y values, do you think it will be 70, 100 or uh, again this? Okay. Now forget about, okay, this one you understood right up to here. Now S2 equal to sample, one more object created. One more object created means what happens? Constructor executes again for the second time. Second time this constructor executes, initializes X with what value? 10, 20. Now for S2, what is the X, Y values? Hmm. X equal to what is that X value? 10. Y value? 10. 20. 20. Now, if I call M1 method, from here the control goes to M1. And what is the uh, next five values it is going to print? 40. 40. 60, right? Okay, 60. And again, I'm calling M1. Okay. X equal to 70. And then. Within this, within this S2 object, X Y values you can keep on changing. Y equal to 100, you wrote 10. Okay, understood right everywhere? Any queries in this? Y equal to 100, yes, Y equal to 100.
so if you are modifying the x value in s1 observe here if you are modifying the x value in s1 do you think that x value in s2 also getting modified no no right if you okay here x and y values was 70 and 100 but again it is going to have its own value right x equal to 10 and y equal to 20 right but it won't take the 70 100 if your employee one salary getting modified employee two salary also won't be modified employee two will have its own salary here also the same thing right understood so one thing what you need to understand how to define a constructor and why constructor is used for initializing the non-static variables whenever you create object immediately constructor executes initialize and creates the non-static variable that thing you need to understand write it fast Okay, I have provided the outputs also here. What is the x and y values? Next, one more example on this constructor before we go with this. Are default constructor, default parameterized constructor means with parameter with parameters, right? Okay, next one more example. Now all the four types of variables, how many types of variables in Python? 
what are they local global static and non static program illustrating all types of variables local global static and non static what is what kind of variable exists yes global variable because it is defined outside the class see with with okay outside the class or outside the function if you are defining any variables right it will be treated as global variables a variable which is outside the class or outside the function it is global y equal to 20 what kind of variable static display you know we have discussed the four types of arguments five types of arguments default non default keyword non keyword arbitrary right in functions yes. p is what kind of argument non default compulsorily while calling display we need to provide the value for p right i'm provided 30 right i provided here p value is 30 what kind of variable z is non static because always non static variables defined using yes. self yes, what is what is this what kind of non static non static no, i'm adding a global variable static variable non static variable local p is what local local variable you will get the w value x value is nothing but x x means what global variable directly we can print that global variable is a variable which can be accessed by all the methods you can access it from anywhere right p value is p what is that local variable test dot y self dot z self dot w now understood right end of the class this is the end of the class what is this object creation statement when our object create there is no constructor here right i didn't define any constructor here t1 dot display what is p value 30 index 10 test dot y 20 t1 dot z That is T one dot W. This sum of all this right means yeah. here you observe carefully within the class how to access a non-static variable Z self outside the class how to access this non-static variable Z using object or reference variable. Understand that yeah. outside the class. So here what you are sub what you can understand is. a global variable you can access from anywhere outside a static variable you can access from outside the class a non static you can access but local variable you cannot be access right it gives error only from this display method only this local variable p can be accessed let us know all types of variables local global static and non static any query here anyone understood
difference between local and non static variables local variables can be accessed only by that method but non static can be accessed by all the methods of the class and also by the other classes local variable you cannot access but non static variables you can access static variable you can access global variable you can access right finished next observe this example first class student what is this constructor initializing name rule number branch and rank constructor is used to initialize the non static variables so name you are accepting rule number branch and rank display that name rule number branch and rank display method displaying that name rule number branch and rank enter student one details whenever this object created immediately this constructor gets executed automatically right whenever object created constructor executes automatically right this one you last to enter name rule number branch and rank s1 dot display using the s1 properties only display this right name what our name rule number branch and rank. enter student to details one more object created again this name rule number branch and rank we need to accept again what all the accepted things you are going to display it in s2 dot name run run module Reading that name rule enters enter strain to name. Strain to name is Ajay. Rule number why not sign. Okay, so here a normal constructor program accept. There is one constructor in your class. There is one method in your class. How many non-static variables? Four. Whenever this object created, right? Constructor, this constructor executes automatically. Initialize the student one details. It will get it and display the student one details. Next, s two equal to student two. For student two, whenever this object created, again this constructor executes and initializes this non-static. Display method, display all this, right? And write it fast. Write fast.
tomorrow my discussion will be on parameterized constructor constructor with parameters so one second what is the drawback we see in default constructor and why we go for parameters constructor right? Okay. Try to execute these things constructor. Take your own example, define some method, define one constructor, try to create a method object and uh, that the constructor executes automatically, define some non-static variables, try to access the non-static variables from outside the class, from within the class. Okay, I'm closing this. So tomorrow we'll continue with parameter as constructor, right?